All right, let's look at this other example. It says, suppose the rate of growth in the sales of a product over a period of five years are 8%, 10%, 12%, 18%, and 24%. And also, if the sales in year zero is 100 million, and 100 million naira, what is the sales at the end of the fifth year? So this question is direct interpretation. It does not have any difficulty in the question. It says we, we are talking about the rate of growth in the sales of a product. So the product can be anything, can be a car, can be a house, understand? Let's just assume it's a house, for example. Let's say you want to sell a house and you notice that every year the price of the house is increasing. So that's what they mean by the rate of growth in the sales of a product. Let's say the house, the price of the house is increasing every year. And the notice for five years, it increased according to this percent. So that's what they mean by the rate of growth in the sales of a product over a period of five years are eight percent so for the first year this hundred million they use in selling it in the first year that's what they mean by if the sales in year zero so when you sold the house initially you sold it at 100 million then first year the price increased by eight percent second year it increased by ten percent third year it increased by twelve percent fourth year eighteen percent then 50 year 24 percent then they now say what is the sale at the end of the fifth year so the fifth year is the 24 percent so what will be the sales of this house or the product we are talking about at the end of the 24 percent increase in that fifth year so to do this question we can do it year by year step by step when you do for the first year eight percent whatever answer you have you will do it you will now find 10 percent of the answer then whatever answer you have, you find 12% of the answer just like that. So let's do it together. It's not a stressful thing. It's just that the method they use here is not somehow clear to me. I don't really understand it. It looks somehow complicated here. Yeah? I'm just going through it. But it's like a waste of time using this method. But it's like they're trying to use this geometric mean method. I've been going through it, but it's somehow difficult to explain it. You can see some factors they, are, they got here. Let's see some factors so i don't want to use this approach because the question did not give a particular method to use you can see it just put the question there and ask you what is the sale at the end of the fifth year so any method you are using make sure you explain it very well that is the most important thing that is, that is used here so since the question is talking about five years increment of a product for the first year which is year zero you sold it at zero at 100 million so first year the price increased by 8%. So let's go to our solution paper now, which is this. So all you just need to do, get your write-up, your paper, your pen. So you start first, first year. So first year now, that is 8%. So first year is going to be 8 over 100. That's 8% of, make sure you times, so 8% of 100 million. So make sure you count the number of zeros where. Well. Don't make mistake. You know you are using calculator here. Yeah? So this is my answer. Let me put it in uh, maths mode here. Yeah? Okay, the whole number. Okay. So that is the answer. So for the first year, you got this. Then if you add it now so since this is your result for first year you need to add this eight million that's what i got here one two three one two three so eight million plus one hundred million that is your money for first year so you just see amount so amount for let me use this symbol amount for first year and now be equals to what now then we add we add the two of them let me split it out so amount of first year we add 100 million 100 123 plus 8 million so it's going to give us okay sorry let me use mathematics mode to solve it so that will get my answer that 100 100 so I think the number of zero come 100, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 plus 8 million. So 
is going to be this I want it to be on a straight line okay then let me put this in decimal okay so this is the answer for the first year okay so that is that so take note of this for for the first year which is a uh, 8% of the money you started with, you started with 100 million, that is this, that is year zero, this is the money they sold the product, so for the first year it increased by 8%, so 8% of this amount gave us, uh, this money we just got here, gave us 108 million Naira, so let's move on, so you can put your symbol of Naira please, you know, this mathematics, I don't know if I have it in my system here. Yeah, let me just check. Let me check symbols. I don't think I have Naira symbol here. Okay, this one looks like it. You can see I have a uh, Japanese yen, I have Euro, I have pounds. So you understand what I'm talking about. Just make sure you put your symbol for Naira. I don't have symbol for Naira here. Let me check my operator if I have Naira. I don't have. So you can bear with me my system i don't have naira so you can put your symbol for naira understand just put it here so that is first year then let's move on second so second year so what is second year so in second year the percentage for second year is what is in 10 percent so what is 10 percent of this money now 10 percent of this amount now that is 10 divided by 100 then times so I'm using this mathematics symbol for times times this amount here which is 108 million so if I change it to my mass mode in decimal I will get this then your amount now and the amount for the second year Amount for second year is going to be what now? It's going to be equals to what now? So you are going to add this money you got 108 100 that is 10 million naira 10.8 million naira. You're going to add it to this amount of the first year. So which is 108 million 108 million one two three one two three so you must count the number of zeros very well to avoid mistakes so you add it to this which is 10.8 million one two three four five so one need to leave one two three four five just make sure you are counting the number of zeros to avoid mistakes no you are using calculator so you need to be careful to avoid errors so that is for second year so let's go to the third year so for the third year you are invest investing how much now the money increased by how many percent by 12 percent so 12 percent of that is 12 that is 12 divided by 100 12 percent of this money we got here one one eight eight one two three four five so it's going to be this so let me put it in decimal then and the amount the amount for that year the amount for the third year will now be what now will now be equal to let's see the amount for this year so to be this value you have here which is one one eight eight one two three four five you add it i need it in mathematics mode sorry one one eight eight one two three four five plus this money you just got here which is one four two five six zero 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 which is equals to this let's put it in mass decimal so that is for the third year you move again for the fourth so for the fourth year now 
fourth year let's check the question the percentage for fourth year is 18 percent so the money increased by 18 percent so times this money we got here which is one three three zero five six zero 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 just make sure you type it well in your calculator don't, don't get, make any mistake then that is that then the amount now the amount for fourth year the amount for fourth year will now be equals to this money we got in third year the amount which is one three three zero five six zero 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 I need it in mass mode sorry one three three zero five six zero 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 add it to twenty three nine five zero zero is zero equals to this so that is the result then the final year which is the fifth year final which is the fifth year and the percentage for fifth year is increased by 24 percent increased by 24 percent then 24 divided by 100 i need it in mass mode 24 divided by 100 times this result we have here which is 157 million six thousand and it's equals to this result Let's put it in decimal that is it then the amount and this will be our final result amount for fifth year will be equals to what will now be equals to this previous amount one five seven zero zero six zero eight zero plus three seven six eight one four five nine point two sorry point two so with this fourth amount of fourth year plus the percentage with 24 percent of that amount so that will give us our final result equals to this i take it to decimal so that's our final answer so this is the end of the calculation so that's the end of the calculation now so the question says at the end of the fifth year which is amount for fifth year is equals to this so this is the amount the question wants us to calculate so it says what is the seed at the end of the fifth year so now say you just make a statement and just make a statement the sale the sale is you put your naira symbol let me just use capital n which is one nine four six eight seven five three nine point two so this is the morning and that is the end of the solution so if you check the answer they got 194 you can see the final answer they got 194 where is the answer okay see the answer they got where is it sir you see the answer they got 194 million and see it 194 million 194 million let me separate it with comma so that we can view it well 194 million six hundred and eighty seven thousand five hundred and thirty nine so six hundred and eighty seven if you check six hundred and eighty seven where is it now six hundred and eighty seven then five hundred and thirty nine point two let's see 539.2 so this is how you can do it so this is another way i know how to do it i hope you understand it i hope you get what i just did now and that is all with this number two question so take your time go through it take your pen and your calculator make sure you calculate it very well to avoid mistake thank you for listening do have a nice day